Hi, I'm talking about healthcare in Hawaii. The health committee, the Hawaii Democratic Party, strongly supports the Medicare for All bill in the House, H.R. 1384, Medicare for All, the one authored by Representative Jayapal. While we strongly support Medicare for All in Congress, we are not waiting on it because a state has many, many options, while a federal single-payer bill could save hundreds of billions of dollars per year, a state can save hundreds of millions of dollars per year by simplifying the administrative process by which the health insurance is provided. There's two parts. There's the physician charting aspect, and there is the billing system. Right now in Hawaii, our main insurance company, HMSA, is causing all of the insurance companies in Hawaii to use a very complex system. And this complex system is so bad that many of our healthcare uh, clinics throughout the state are closing. Doctors are quitting because they cannot afford to accept Medicaid or Medicare due to recent increases in administrative complexity. In 2015, our delightful Republicans passed a bill called MACRA Medicare Access and Chip Reauthorization Act of 2015. It added private insurance complexity to Medicare. This increased costs. In 2016, 47% of physicians in Hawaii refused to accept Medicare because they couldn't afford to. In 2009, HMSA did this thing, it's called managed care, where they went to a reimbursement system called pay per value. What that means is overnight patient charting time for physicians doubled. The amount of paperwork doctors do doubled overnight. And that's the private insurance side that influenced the private contractors who take care of Hawaii's Medicaid program. They followed HMSA's lead, each with their own unique variation, and that added the same doubling of complexity to Medicaid. Medicaid already pays the least, Medicare a little more, and then private insurance the most. So Medicaid pays the least, increased its administrative costs, doctors can't stay in business, they're closing. One third of Hawaii is on Medicaid, and they can't get a doctor. It's a real disaster. If you live on the big island, you're gonna have a hard time finding a good medical clinic because many of them are closing. So what can a state do? We are fortunate in Hawaii to have the Hawaii Health Authority in place. It was passed in 2009. Senator David Ige voted for it. Governor David Ige has forgotten why he has voted for it. Please go on his official homepage and contact Governor Ige. Ask him to support the Hawaii Health Authority's mission of simplifying health insurance in Hawaii. The insurance companies, HMSA, Kaiser, the private ones for Medicaid, and even Medicare Advantage would all use the same admin system, the same benefit package, and reimburse the same amount. This amount of unification can cut between 10 to 30% off the current amount that we're paying for health insurance premiums. Why won't we do this? Well, HMSA doesn't want us to, and HMSA has a pretty strong luck on what gets done health policy-wise in the state of Hawaii. So again, contact Governor Ige, ask him to remember why in 2009 he voted over Governor Lingle's veto of the Hawaii Health Authority. Remember why he did that, so that everyone in Hawaii could have health care. Thank you very much.